So we're, from, we're in Austin, Texas, as well as Santa Barbara, California. And I'm talking about uh, French underwriting protection. So basically I'll describe the general problem, uh, the current production technology, uh, advanced technology, and then uh, something about the benefits. Basically the problem, there's like three to 5,000 fatalities a year involving the front ends of heavy trucks. Uh, what that means is the front of the truck is engaging with the rear side or the front of a passenger vehicle. Um, basically we see that compared to the side and the rear, the front uh, number of fatalities is dramatically higher. So a large portion of the safety benefit and consequence associated with heavy trucks is associated with the front end rather than the rear and the side. But it's a harder problem as well. Um, this is an example of a crash that would involve the front of the heavy truck, uh, where the heavy truck is coming along and runs into the rear of an SUV, uh, and that SUV then rotates and slides into the rear of another semi-trailer. Um, this is the consequence uh, of that. Basically, in the rear impact, uh, it ruptured the fuel tank of the SUV, and then uh, in the, right here you see the engagement in the rear, and then as it slid forward uh, with the ruptured fuel tank, it slid underneath the trailer of uh, the semi-trailer ahead of it, and this is the under eye guard that fell off um, from that trailer, which had been uh, improperly attached. It wasn't an original uh, trailer uh, under eye guard. Um, so basically, with regard to prevention and mitigation of the fatalities are uh, associated with the front uh, of the uh, heavy trucks. There are basically three aspects to that. One is collision detection and automatic braking. One's improved brake systems, and one is front underwrite protection devices. Uh, in terms of collision detection and automatic braking, uh, it has a long history. It started in the early 90s with radar detection and alert systems. Um, basically, NHTSA in the early 2000s uh, did a study with Volvo and uh, Virginia Tech, as I recall. <coughs> WAPCO announced a 2008 system. And in Europe, um, collision detection and avoidance technology is now required on heavy trucks, on all heavy trucks. Um, this is an example of, in case you haven't seen this kind of thing. This is a Volvo heavy truck. And it's done automatically. And this is basically a requirement in Europe. brakes. Uh, in the United States, most of the heavy trucks uh, have uh, what are called drum brakes, which have disadvantages with regard to uh, disc brakes uh, in terms of longevity. That is comparison of that NHGSA made. Uh, the Volvo or brake systems that were drum brakes versus disc brakes after extended use found that the braking capability of the drum brakes had been significantly degraded, whereas the disc brakes hadn't. The important part about that is that most of the heavy trucks in Europe have disc brakes. And the same companies that are in Europe are also in the United States. Um, this is just an example NHTSA did uh, improve the stopping distance requirement for heavy trucks <coughs> from 60 miles an hour uh, in 2011. You don't see the cursor there, do you? Anyway, the second white bar. And then there are systems from Demix, for example, that have dramatically better braking capability uh, compared to even that requirement. Uh, and down here at the bottom, you see uh, what passenger cars are doing, what they're required to do. They actually have better performance than that, but they're required. In Europe, 
uh, front underwriting protection devices were mandated uh, in the early 90s. And by the 2000s, uh, it had been recognized that energy absorbing uh, front underwriting devices would be a better solution uh, in terms of the front end of the heavy truck compared to a rigid one, but both are um, available. And then there are also advanced technology systems. This is an example of, uh, of a system, Volvo system, <coughs> with the front end of a, I guess we don't have a cursor, but this is the front end of the passenger vehicle running into the heavy truck. This is the engagement of the heavy truck, and that's the resulting damage on the, on Here we see another front under eye protection device uh, in a 40 mile an hour collision in Europe uh, at a test track. Basically, you see the an offset impact with the uh, blue car on the right. You can see the damage in the occupant space has been maintained uh, and the vehicle hasn't been overridden. Here is uh, an example of a Volvo offset energy absorbing crash test. The systems we just looked at were tested at about 40 mile an hour closing velocities, but the advanced front underride protection is represented by systems that can provide protection in 80 mile an hour impact closing velocities. These systems represent the integration of collision detection, front underride prevention, and crash mitigation technologies. The advanced systems incorporate deployable energy absorbing technology that increases the available effective crush space on the front end of the heavy truck. The increased crush space is how the system is able to handle much higher closing velocity impacts. Here we see the onset of an 80 mile an hour closing velocity impact in head-on collision just prior to the deployment of an energy absorbing heavy truck airbag. Here the heavy truck airbag is absorbing significant energy thus enhancing crash capability at the front end of the passenger vehicle in this impact. Finally, the airbag crush space has been utilized to decelerate the passenger vehicle so that the passenger compartment accelerations and intrusions are significantly improved compared with an impact without the advanced front underride protection system. Significant opportunities for reductions in fatalities and severe injuries are available from the implementation of front underride protection systems on heavy trucks. Because of the large number of fatalities and severe injuries occurring each year from passenger vehicle crashes involving the front of heavy trucks, the implementation of effective front underride protection systems will also have high benefit cost ratios. If you have any questions, here's my contact information. Thanks.